if you're considering uh, an allograft, the most important piece of information to be aware of is that potentially this can cure. That is the whole idea of it. It's an extremely exciting form of therapy where the treatment is someone else's stem cells. We give you treatment beforehand, which we call conditioning, to prepare you to receive those stem cells. But unlike the other type of transplant we do, which is the autologous transplant, the treatment is not that preparation, it is the stem cells. And those stem cells will cleverly find their way to your bone marrow and grow and produce a whole new immune system. And those new immune system will find out, seek out and find any residual lymphoma cells and destroy them in what we call the graft versus lymphoma effect which is really exciting and something that we can manipulate later on. If your disease was to come back, we can just give you some more of the lymphocytes from the donor, which is quite an exciting way of treating a disease. Um, and it's using the immune system, which is probably the most powerful weapon we have against cancer. But the pr problem with this type of treatment is that that new immune system is not just specific for your lymphoma cells, which may be left, they can also target your normal tissue. So you can target the skin, the gut, and the liver. We don't know why it's particularly those organs, but that's what happens. And that those immune cells create an inflammation, which can cause significant problems. The issue, and what we call that, is graft versus host disease. Now, the issue with it is that we want to see a bit of graft versus host disease because if you get some graft versus host disease, we know you've also had the graft versus lymphoma effect, and that's good. What we can't control is how much graft versus host disease you get. So most patients will get some, and it may just end up being a bit of a skin rash or sore mouth, which can be controlled with topical treatment. However, a small but significant minority can get really se severe graft versus host disease which can result in an exfoliative skin rash, torrential diarrhoea, and liver failure. And if it doesn't respond rapidly to steroids, does kill. And is one of the reasons for that transplant-related mortality that we quote in relation to allogeneic transplant. So in patients that I see in consent for allo, I would always quote a mortality of around 15 to 20% um, with it just for going through the procedure, largely because of that risk of graft versus host disease.